Next is uh, a row of or an asparagus bed. The asparagus bed has been here for probably six years or so. You can see it's got, actually pretty embarrassing. It's actually gotten taken over by violets. Uh, and not only violets, I've actually started getting these briar plants coming, these brambles coming up so much that they're actually invading my strawberry patch. This fall, I'll probably actually just break down and dig this whole thing up and move it to another location. It's just becomes very hard to weed in here without actually damaging the shoots that are coming up. On this side of the garden, I have two rows of tomatoes. The first row is my standard Better Boy variety I grow every year. It's my stock uh, tomato. Next row is actually a Sweet 100 uh, cherry tomato. Now, obviously you don't need six cherry tomatoes. We're going to have tons of cherry tomatoes, but it came in a six pack and I just didn't have the heart to throw the other five away. After that, I have three hills of squash. Uh, this is early prolific straight neck squash. And after that, I have uh, three rows of carrots. Carrots are very slow to germinate. They only have only a few have come up so far. The plan is to plant carrots and continue like my lettuce plant, plant carrots in increments of a few weeks just to keep production going all through the year. After that, I have cucumber. Two varieties of heirloom garlics I got from Seed Saver Exchange. Planned on this past fall, uh, so they're actually doing very well. Uh, they will actually turn yellow and fall over when they're ready to harvest. Probably a few months yet. Next to that I have bell pepper. This is better bell. I have six plants here. And finally next to that I have two hills of cantaloupe. This is Hell's Best Jumbo uh, variety. Growing that cantaloupe very, it will run a lot and I know it's going to be very messy. I've got it here at the end of the garden so when it starts getting out of hand I can at least point it toward the garden or something. One other thing you might notice is, as I mentioned, I've got the electric fence up. Electric fence encircles the entire garden. We have a little area to come in and out. And we simply close this off because we don't have a gate or anything. We simply just take another piece of wire, hook it to one end. I've got it hooked on this. And we do this with two strands. And this keeps them, makes an effective little gate. Uh, effectively sealing off the entire perimeter from any further deer attacks. We'll update you later.